uh, tough. Um, I think consistency, that uh, to work hard for a long time and to have the patience to work. Uh, I've had ups and downs in my career, but I'm really proud of myself that uh, I managed to get back on high level, no matter what happened. Um, and yeah, to, to keep working, keep grinding. Uh, and um, then I think it's really important to have good people around you. Um, as a athlete, I f an athlete, I think you have to be critical about who you're listening to. Uh, everybody wants to tell you something, and I really believe the good things in people. But sometimes I can maybe also be a little bit naive. And early in my career, I was uh, I was listening to a lot of different uh, trainers and coaches and everything. Now I've been more selective and uh, listening to to the ones that I really care about and know that wants the best for me. Uh, I've never really been a like a quote kind of person, uh, but I think uh, sometimes I think to myself that uh, you have to be odd to be number one. <laughs> like uh, you cannot reach the top if you're doing everything that has already been done and do everything what normal people do. That's also the, the cool part of it. And then I also really like a quote from, um, I think it's Einstein, uh, who says something about like if you're... Uh, Ah, uh, how is it? It's something about if you live, if you're a frog and you live your whole life thinking you are... Uh, ah, I cannot remember it. Do you want to check it? We will cut this Yeah, part, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please, please check it. It's something about that. If you uh, are judging yourself by the ability to climb a tree and you're the best swimmer in the world, then you will never succeed. So it's more about this, that uh, you have to know your strength. And sometimes earlier I also wanted to be good at everything and I couldn't really appreciate my values as a player and now I'm better at seeing okay I cannot be the best at everything but I'm good at, at some, some special qualities. Mm, maybe a little cliche but I would say believe in yourself please Luis. <laughs> uh, sometimes when I I remember myself and I see some video clips with myself and say, whoa, you're fucking good. <laughs> and I really couldn't see that at that point. Uh, I was really uh, critical about myself and I was never really satisfied with my performances. Um, so I would say take it easy also because uh, recovery is also part of being an athlete. And I have been really bad at like relaxing and recovering during my career, but now I see how important it is also to just chill and uh, <laughs> be on the couch and uh, sleep and yeah, everything. It's it's not only in the in the ta training area that you become the best. It's also in your recovery. I think it's really, really important as a coach that you have your concept, but that you also are ready to um, fit your concept to the players that you have. That, of course, you should uh, keep your, your concept, but if you have certain players that have special qualities, then you should also be ready to adapt to that. Um, then I really love individual training and I really love the focus of, of, on development and I think it's really, really important, especially for the coaches for younger generations, that they focus really on development and not only the wrestles. Nobody cares if you win the under-18 uh, world championship. You need to develop good players who can perform here on the national team on senior level. And I think uh, in Denmark we won a lot of medals in the in the young national teams, not so many in the past years in uh, in the senior. Now we are getting there again. Uh, but um, yeah, I really think development over wrestles, especially for when you coach the young players. I have actually before my career I said I don't don't want to stay in handball but now my heart is also really beating for the young players and to make a difference in the in the system in the Danish federation so uh, I never see myself as a coach on like senior level I'm too um, I'm too vulnerable and too uh, 
too much of a pleaser. I cannot uh, deal with all this um, uh, wrestle pressure sometimes uh, if you are a coach. But I would really love to to develop uh, young players and uh, make a difference for them also about the mental health. Uh, so I could see myself in a position doing that. But uh, I also have a, an education in marketing, uh, and I think it's, that's really interesting. So yeah, we will see. I'm not at all finished with my handball career, so let's see when it will be. I also, I think it's such a good question sometimes about what makes a winning culture in a team. And my experience is that you cannot tell because it's so different from the teams you meet. Some have some qualities about certain kind of stuff, but I think it's more about that all the team is going in the same direction and have the respect for each other and uh, then you can play uh, really physical, you can be really smart, you can uh, play really good attack, doesn't matter. If you are going in the same direction, have a really strong culture in the team and I think we really showed this tournament that we care about each other and we really respect each other's differences and uh, that is, is making a winning team I think. It's also really interesting because I think it's really, it's not easy, but it's easier to become good. It's it's really hard to stay on top. Uh, and respect to Norway, they really stayed on top for such a long time. And for a long time, we also looked up to them and were, wow, how do you manage to make the generation switch and still keep the, the really nice culture and everything? To take care of yourself and be respectful to yourself, to know yourself. Are you a player that uh, needs security in your life? Do you need to stay in the same club for five years to have the security around you and, and feel safe? Then you should know that if you want to have new experiences to go out, you have to take care of your body. Injuries are a big part of it. So I think it's also really important to really listen to yourself. And what are your values and find a club and a coach that really fits your values. Because uh, even though you're really strong as a player, your, your leader, your coach is, has a really big influence on you, uh, both national team wise and also in the club. Oh, I played with so many really talented players, but if you don't have the consistency like I talked about before, then it's easy to, to party and have fun and go out and uh, chill instead of uh, making the, the hard effort in the, in the training room. Um, yeah, uh, that's all I can say. But I also think, I also think it's important to, to notice that people have different ways. Uh, in my podcast, I talk about me and Katrin Heindale, my best friend, that we had really different roads to succeed, uh, to, to success. Uh, she was, a, I would not say a slow uh, starter, but I came with the national team really early and she came a little later and played on, on lower level teams. But now she's standing here, maybe the best defender in the world. And yeah, it just shows that there is many ways to success. <laughs> uh, sometimes I can be a little uh, seeing like things uh, negatively, so I would think I would go with the opposite. I would say building a strength. <laughs>